What is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and this is Alabama, apparently. Now, anyway, what we've got going on today is we've got a Jeep JKU Truggy, which is a really interesting build for a mod because it's kind of like a different idea and a different way to approach a JKU um, than a lot of people approach these Jeeps. I mean, you could put a Truggy cage on the back, which we will definitely do, and then stick our spare tire back there. It's a Swamper spare, so in order to stay... Um, in order to stay kind of true to the to the way we've got it set up, we're gonna go ahead and put swampers on the rest of the Jeep. These look like at least 40s for sure, but I really like the idea of taking a four-door Jeep like this and turning the whole back end into a tube chassis, basically. I mean, it's a really it's a really different way to approach one of these, and I, I like it. I like that. I, I like it a lot. Now, this map, like, like I said before, is called Alabama. Now, I've never been there, so I'm not too sure how true to life this map is, but hopefully some of my Alabama subscribers will be able to chime in on that and actually let me know how close this map is to what, it's, to what the off-roading is like there. So, I am going to, I think, probably just turn right right here. And, well, wait. That looks like some rock crawling, but it looks like a crazy transition i kind of want to check it out though i actually really want to check it out because we're in a we're in like a, a a half tube chassis jk why would we not want to check out the potential for rock crawling i mean that's that's part of what this thing is for come on oh dear god i have no idea why the thing got sideways like that but eh, at least we didn't go off the bridge we're all right on that. Don't need to stop for fuel because we're full. And now, whoa! I was wrong. It's not rock crawling. It's a freaking cave, dude. That's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very okay with this idea. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. It's interesting. They put like lumber under this like water section so gives you extra traction obviously you're not going to get stuck but yeah that's a really nice idea i like that a lot i like that a lot so we've got like actual caves that is awesome that is totally legit and i am absolutely in support of more caves on spin tires maps it's not really even a tunnel it's like a legit cave that you drive through Now, as far as where this map is going to take us next, I think there's, like, some kind of massive bridge somewhere. And if we can find that, I would love to, because not only are massive bridges really, really cool, but I want to see I want to see how, how big the bridge is, because if this thing can fit on it, then we should be able to fit most any kind of vehicle on this, because, or on it, because this is a really wide Jeep. It's a really wide Jeep. It's a long Jeep. Probably one of the longest Jeeps you're going to be able to find. I mean, this is longer, it looks like than a normal uh, JKU. It looks like they've stretched it a little bit. Now, I will say this map is a little bit, it's weird because it's not particularly interesting in just kind of like the driving sections, but it's got some nice highlights, like for example, that, that cave. But when it comes down to it, I think the map could be, I think it could be more interesting for sure. I, th I think, I wouldn't call it boring, but I would call it in need of some, uh, of something extra. Yeah, dude, look how much the, the tail end comes out on this thing when you try to turn a corner. Look at this. And turn in. Well, need to be in high for it to really do it, but... Because sometimes it, it doesn't do it. Sometimes it doesn't do it in automatic. It's weird. It'll do it almost more at lower speeds than it will at higher speeds, which is a little bit funky for a spin tires vehicle, just because of the fact that most spin tires vehicles, when they get up to, like, fourth gear, fifth gear... They just take off and go, whereas this maintains a really smooth, steady pace, and I feel like that might be what some people want, which, I mean, it probably is what some people want in a, in a spin tires vehicle. Let me check the map real quick again. We are kind of out in the middle of nowhere, heading to that lumber area. What is this? Just like a massive, it looks like a golf course from up above. No joke, that looks like a freaking golf course. Um... You know what? I actually have an idea. We're going to back up and see if we can take a little route through the woods. Because there's a section that I really want to check out. 
This Jeep would do awesome on Trail Club. We could do like the sandbox challenge with this. Oh man, that would be amazing. Let's see, because I believe if we go straight through the woods right here, we should come out on right, like, we should come out right on the other road that leads to that, what looks like a rock section. Oh yeah, just take a left, we're good to go. Little bit of a climb, nothing really too crazy, but definitely more interesting than what we've been doing, that's for sure. Holds third gear pretty nice going up. Not really any issues at all with uh, with the gearbox. Yup, there's that bridge. There's that bridge. Okay, yeah, never mind. Any of my concerns about vehicles fitting on this bridge have now been completely dismissed because it is massive. Anything could fit on this bridge. You get a hell of a view though. Holy crap. Dude, that is awesome. Like, look at that. You can pretty much see as far as the map goes. I'm sure there's probably some people watching right now that want me to drive off the edge. And I'm not going to. Uh, we'll probably do that. You know what? We can actually... We can actually do... Now that we've crossed the bridge, we will go back and jump off it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This section actually looks fun, so I'm going to run it real quick, and then we're going to turn around, and we're going to jump off the bridge. Or launch the Jeep off the bridge. Holy crap, that's good grip. That is really good grip. We need to take this to a proper rock crawling map. Go, go, go! It's up the hill, no problem at all. Uh, power? Boing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you could have expected anything else to happen. I mean, I, I didn't think the Jeep was going to survive that. I really didn't. But, but, let's see. That does mean it's time to rescue, though. It's very much time to rescue. Now, which way are we pointed? Okay, so if we go just a little bit to the left and then go straight, we could just end up close to where we were. Oh, if we just... There we go. Can end up close to where we were. And I think we are. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is, now that we've got a really good idea of what the rest of this map is going to be like, because let's face it, it's not the most diverse map, um, we're going to go ahead and bypass the road in a second and go... Well, at least try to see what that really grassy-looking area on the map is. Because I feel like it's either just going to be a field, or maybe a swamp? Or farmland? Who knows? Okay, yeah, we did need to go left. Uh, it looks like it's just like a big grassy area. I mean, literally, it could be a golf course. If there's a golf course and spin tires, that that's legit. That's awesome. It's, oh no, you know what it is? It is, okay, yeah, it's a cutout for power lines. Oh, yep, this Jeep kicks his tail out. Hell yes. That is awesome. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, like, th that it could be a cutout for power lines. I mean, it seems very, actually, now that I think about it, it seems super logical that they would have that. If they're trying to go for more of, like, a realistic-style map, and a map that kind of represents an area, instead of, like, say, an off-road park. Come on! This would be awesome to just bomb down in some really fast pre-runners. That'd be insane. Why does that grass look off? It just looks weird. It isn't. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drift drift around it and then come right back out. This thing is so fun to drift. It's really predictable too. Like you can catch it super easy. Way easier than almost any other spin tires vehicle. Dude, this thing would be a blast on some of the circuits. Like, holy crap. Like, look at this. 
And... Kick the back end out. And then just catch it again. That's awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. Back in automatic. See if I can get it to go any faster. Fifth gear. Little bit of a jump. Dude, I, this, this, this part of the map was made for vehicles that are insanely fast and like to jump. That's all that this part was made for. But I feel like we've pretty much done a good bit of the exploring on this map just because of the fact that, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of variety here. Uh, it's sorry to say that, but it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of variety here. A decent bit of flex. This could probably climb up that, uh, that stack of lumber no problem. Just gotta line up with it. Back it up. Ah! Come on. Alright, come on. Get it, Jeep. Oh, yeah. There it is. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Now, I feel like... I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the map one more time. This is, again, pretty much just a trail, so I feel like we've done pretty much all the exploring we're going to do on this map because it's actually not all that varied, but tell me in the comment section down below if this is anything like, um, I don't know, Alabama? I mean, <laughs> uh, if it is, then let me know, but if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button, tell me in the comment section down below, guys, a lot of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.